Hey, this is Timo from OnlineBuilderGuy.com and today we are going to be looking at how to build a website with Strikingly. Uh, now, here's the deal. Um, Strikingly is a little bit different type of website builder. Um, I have reviewed a couple of website builders already and uh, they are basically doing or building the website using a traditional route. Meaning that when you create a website, uh, you get a bunch of web pages and that basically, well, that, that is a website. Uh, but Strikingly is doing things differently. And with Strikingly, uh, you are not creating uh, X number of uh, web pages. But rather what Strikingly is doing is that it is creating uh, uh, one-page websites, which means that uh, you are actually kind of a, staying on the same page all the time, even when you are navigating from one link to another uh, inside your website. You are still staying on one page, and Strikingly is a one-page website builder. Uh, so it's different than the rest of the website builders out there. And during this video I'm going to show you how to create a website and then you will see what this one page website means, what it is in action. So what I have done already is that I have registered this strikingly and uh, I have already locked in. And that's basically what you have to do as well. And creating a website is a very simple uh, process. Uh, in overall, strikingly, it's a very uh, user-friendly uh, type of uh, website builder. You can create a website very fast. So without any further ado, let's get started with this actual process. So I'm here on my dashboard and I have already created a website. But let's say that I want to create a new website. And it all starts by clicking this create new site button here uh, at the top left of the page. And this starts the website creation wizard. Uh, let me just click that again because it seems that the first click didn't do anything. Uh, anyways, when you get started with the design, and this is a very traditional type of approach, the first thing that you have to do is to pick a template for your website. Now as you can see that there are plenty of categories related to these templates. Uh, templates related to business, the startup, personal, portfolio, store and a blog. And you can scroll these things down to see what these templates are all about. And by default you have all the templates listed here. Uh, but then you can click any of these categories to see these uh, different categories or these different templates in these different categories. Uh, and and that, that's basically, this is once again a very standard type of approach with other site builders as well. Uh, there is a startup personal portfolio and so on. But what you will also see here is that some of the templates are not just within one category but they can be in multiple categories. And this obviously means that even though you may be thinking that there are lots of uh, templates inside of these categories but the reality is that sometimes you can find uh, certain templates in, in multiple categories. Like for instance, this uh, this um, Lotus uh, template here, which is under the business category. Uh, but as you can see that when I click uh, the startup category, it's also here. So just keep this in mind that this can occur when you are working with templates and when you are picking a template for your website. Okay, well anyways, let me just choose a template. Uh, <clears throat> I think that 
for the demonstration uh, I will pick this Lotus template and by the way um, I have included a link under this video uh, so check that one out it goes to my blog and I have written a very extensive review related to strikingly uh, and I'm not going to cover everything on this video that's already there on the blog post so go there and check it out and you will find much more uh, much more useful information related to strikingly and what it's all about okay so anyways you have two options when you are hovering your mouse pointer over a particular theme uh, you can view an example of this theme in action so in this case I chose the Lotus theme and here you will see what this page is going to look like so this is a very nice looking nice looking one page website or if you just uh, click the start editing button here then what happens is that you are taken to the editing mode uh, of this particular template and you basically uh, have a website here already so this process is very straightforward very simple very quick now obviously what you have to do next is that you should actually then start modifying this template according to your needs so whenever you are creating a website uh, they are using some nice stock images uh, and some you know placeholder text and and so on but what you want to do next is that you want to make sure that this template uh, actually uh, is being changed so that it reflects your brand so for instance if you are creating a website for your business you want to make sure that all these images and all these texts are actually related to your brand <clears throat> and they reflect your brand your brand image so that's basically what you have to do now we have a website so what is happening next is that I'm going to give you a brief tour of what you can do here this is not going to be a very extensive tour of what you can do or how you can build a fully complete website for your business I'm not going to do that and that's per perhaps a topic for another video but as you can see here that you can hover your mouse over these different sections and then you can obviously uh, edit them if you want to and as soon as you hover your mouse over a particular element this context context based menu uh, pops up here so for instance I'm editing text and as you can see that you have all these different formatting options and then I can obviously uh, change the text a little bit and add some new uh, effects to it I guess so that's basically how it works um, and talking about one page websites as you can see that when you are clicking or when you click any of these items here so this page scrolls into that particular section of the page so that's why it's called a one page website so everything happens on one page and what you are doing here is that you are clicking any of these sections here and then you will be taken to that part of the website and so for instance if I add a new section here uh, I might just click this button add new section here on the left and then I can choose the particular type of section that I want to add uh, to my website so for instance it could be that uh, I could be adding this content in rows section and uh, it's here and you can then modify this according to your needs and then I can just rename this section uh, let's say content in 
Rose. I know this is a lousy name for a section, but this is just for the demonstration purposes. Let me just click save. And then you can do all, all the standard editing here. Uh, what's very nice feature with Strikingly is that there are certain predefined templates or I guess you could say layouts inside certain sections. So these things are called sections and within a section you can then edit or I guess you could say change the layout uh, a little bit and you have two options to do it. First of all you can change the background uh, and when you click this background arrow if you can see that this arrow which is pointing to right and click it so you will see all these different uh, different types of options that you can choose from uh, and in this particular case I'm uh, choosing a different background for this particular section so you can change these uh, sections very easily and then you have a more button which gives you more backgrounds to choose from let me just pick anything like this and it well it looks like this and <laughs> not perhaps the best looking page or or a best looking section in the world but that's basically how it goes and then I can just uh, then I can just save it if I want to but let me just put this original background here and save it and here is another nice feature so you have this layout button uh, obviously it gives you more uh, options to choose from when you click the advanced button but the thing that I wanted to show you let me just go back I gotta yeah let me just click save so the thing that I wanted to show you is that <clears throat> in this particular case you see this alphabet layout A now what you can do here is that when you click the for instance the layout word it turns into layout B and this layout actually changes a little bit let me just click that again I have a layout C so I had an opt-in form and now I have this App Store and Google Play buttons here let me click that again uh, this outlook changes completely this image is now here on the right and the text is on the left let me click this button again now I have a layout E I have an opt-in uh, form here at the bottom I have a layout F the the Google Play and App Store images are at the bottom a layout G the image is gone layout H and um, yeah, well you get the picture so depending on the section you have different layouts to choose from and I think that this is a very nice feature because it, it, it gives, gives you this ability to change the layout uh, sometimes very easily by clicking a button something that I wanted to show you um, <clears throat> then regarding to some elements it's very um, important to realize and I hope that strikingly is actually going to fix this at some point is that certain elements are actually very difficult to point or see on the page so for instance in this page I have add image uh, link or add image text uh, and a rectangular box here on the on the page and I'm not sure uh, if you are able to see it uh, even with my MacBook Pro with the retina screen it's very difficult for me to spot this so for instance when I hover my mouse over this you can see that this edit section comes up so there is actually an element it says add image but I guess this is dependent of, dependent of, of the theme but I also hope that strikingly is fixing this because sometimes it's very difficult to see what is going on here uh, <clears throat> but you know as far as the templates are concerned I think that majority of the elements are actually very easy to spot but there could be some <laughs> almost hidden elements which are very uh, difficult to spot on this on the on the page so just wanted to make sure that you are aware of it 
Okay, so what else there is to it? Uh, there are styles. You can actually uh, do stylistic changes to your website by picking a different type of style. You have fonts related, related se settings, sections, buttons, whatever, and you can basically change them uh, through these uh, settings over here. And let's see what else there is to it. Uh, yeah, I, I think that this is pretty much what this editor is all about. If you then want to access certain settings on your page, and these are actually uh, site-wide settings. So what is going on here is that you can have all these different uh, basic settings related to your site. You can purchase new domains. By the way, I do not recommend you to purchase uh, domains uh, using this route because uh, well, anyways, the price is really the issue here and, and uh, you should definitely you should definitely purchase domains through some other registrar like, like Namecheap is my preferred preferred way of doing that even though if you are getting a free domain for one year but still it's it's actually more expensive to to register your domain through this route uh, you have different other uh, settings here uh, I think that the most important one let's let me just pick this one this is actually a very nice uh, feature that uh, strikingly has. Now I haven't seen this type of a list anywhere else but this is called a SEO checklist. So what it means is that uh, I don't know how well aware of you are or how familiar you are with SEO but SEO consists of all these different things that you do that, so that your website is more visible on the search results. And uh, based on my experiences, there are actually many things that you should do in order to rank better on, on for instance, on Google. Now, what Strikingly is doing is that they are actually helping you because they are giving you this checklist that you should follow. Like, do all these different things uh, so that your website is ranking better on search engines. Now, obviously, this is just a starting point and there are, there are actually much more to SEO. Uh, but I, I, I still think that even doing these can help you just a little bit to rank better. I'm not saying that when you are doing all these things here, for instance, you have set a title for your site or, you know, entered some meta descriptions that you will all of a sudden rank to, to number one spot on Google on certain search results. That is not going to happen. But what I'm saying is that this is a nice starting point and it helps you to do certain steps in a standard manner. And you have all these necessary items on, on one page and it helps you to see what needs to be done in order to improve your SEO uh, on your website. Okay, what else there is to it? Let me just close that one and let me just exit the editor and we are then going back to the uh, dashboard and as you can see that I have two websites here and uh, well then you can basically edit them, you can check out the stats related to those websites and uh, obviously you have more options you can delete you can publish you can clone your websites uh, if you want to and what else there is to it let's see uh, oh yeah one thing that I almost forgot to mention was this discover tab here on on your dashboard so what it means is that whenever you want to get some inspiration related to your website design uh, go to the dashboard and click the discover uh, link here at the at the top of the page what you will see here and 
well, this is basically what this page is saying. See what the strikingly community is building. It's always nice to see that that you can build build a lot of great websites, nice looking websites by using strikingly, and this is definitely a place to go if you want to um, if you want to get some inspiration to your website design. So it's obviously a very nice very very nice addition to to the dashboard and I actually haven't seen this type of a, uh, section anywhere uh, on other site builders that I have reviewed so it's it's very nice to have plenty of nice looking sites and addresses and you can then visit these sites to see what other strikingly users have uh, have actually built with strikingly it's it's a very nice nice thing nice thing to have here uh, one, one final thing I promise <laughs> this is going to be a very long video and I'm actually talking much more about strikingly than just how to build a website uh, let me just give you a brief look about the pricing things here uh, so very traditional type of very traditional uh, type of pricing page here uh, so what you will see here is that all these different pricing plans and uh, I would say that the pro plan is definitely the one that you should subscribe to um, what basically happens is that as soon as you okay let me just go back a little bit so when you register with uh, when you register with um, strikingly what is happening is that you have a free account and with free account you have basically these features like unlimited free sites and you know some five gigabytes of monthly bandwidth and you have to use a strikingly strikingly domain you can even access the chat support or support channels uh, and have a very limited uh, online store but if you ever upgrade to a premium level plan then you will start a two-week uh, free trial period and your credit card is not being billed or charged during that time so at this point I would say that the pro plan is definitely um, the one that you should choose uh, it has plenty of uh, cool features and especially if you are in, if you are into building websites it gives you this ability to to modify and edit your pages uh, with HTML and CSS and JavaScript I haven't done this myself uh, I do not have any first-hand experience but but I think that it's always very nice that when you are registering to a website builder that you want to keep in mind that your requirements might change at some point and it's always nice to know that this option is here you all oh sorry you also have an uh, online store you can have like 300 products on your site um, free domain what else <coughs> sorry what else there is to it well you you'll just have to take a look at these features uh, again to see if this plan is for you or if you want to pick an, another plan but still saying that uh, that uh, if you choose any of these plans I think that uh, as a starting point the pro plan is way to go and as you can see that the the prices here are based on uh, on the yearly or annual billing uh, if you choose the month to month billing cycle well obviously the price goes up and if you choose a two-year billing cycle when then you are saving more money than with the yearly uh, billing cycle so that's just uh, wanted to give you this information if you are thinking whether strikingly is for you or not Okay, so there was actually quite a lot to it. I actually ended up talking about much, much more than just how to create a website with, with Strikingly. But 
with this very brief tour, I hope that you enjoyed this video and uh, it's definitely worth checking out uh, as a conclusion in my review. This is, this is definitely one of those site builders that you should check out if you are building a website for, for your business or for your personal brand, whatever you're doing. So it's definitely worth checking out. It's it's a very promising site builder, builder and they are doing a lot of things the right way. Uh, so I encourage you to take a look at this at some point. And uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will get back to you soon. Bye bye.